Hello everyone, so I'm Shubham Chutpas from Hostel 5 and I'll be presenting the deliverables from my hostel for the Unveil GC. So let's start with the document which we have attached in the presentation. Um, so this document has all the calculations that we have done and all the assumptions that we have made. So this would include the uh, electricity consumption calculations and the units consumed by different appliances which would include tube lights, bulbs, fans, etc. We have calculated the units consumed per day for all these appliances. Then what we've done is we've summed it up to get the total units consumed per day. Uh, this, this quantity was later used to calculate the electricity bill, the total primary energy, the carbon footprint and for several other calculations. So, this doc has all the assumptions and the calculations that we've done. So let's start with the current model which the energy club has provided. So what we calculated that the energy consumption for this model is around 6 lakhs 32,000 units per year. This would include, this the calculation for all this is given in the doc. Other than that the primary energy uses is as follows, it's 16 lakhs 13,000. 760s. So, what primary energy uses signifies is not just the energy consumed, but it also considers the efficiency of the method through which the energy was consumed. So, for solar energy, for example, the primary usage would include the efficiency, which is very low because solar panels generally require a lot of sunlight to be uh, trapped to get some significant amount of electricity. Later, um, we use the tariff plans given by the government to calculate the electricity bill. The calculation for this is given in the doc and also in the later slide which I will cover. Um, and in the end, the carbon footprint which is 476.3 metric tons of CO2 per year. So, the calculations involved, I have just briefly given the electricity consumption, the electricity bill calculation. So, uh, as IIT is an educational institution, the tariff plans for us are same as that of for a residential complex for, or, a, or like a, a house in general. So, we have 3.36 for the first 100 units, then 6.05 times the next 200. And so on and then we have like the uh, compulsory units uh, like the compulsory money which we have to pay and in total it gives to 60 lakhs um, per year so the total carbon footprint was calculated using the carbon footprint given by the for the given by a particular method times the units of energy produced using that method and then the primary energy uses with it both the energy consumed upon the efficiency uh, this is the data use. So, uh, given a particular total units per year, we have fitted, uh, like we have made formulas in Excel which would directly give us the total primary use of the total carbon footprint. So, uh, this, uh, this makes the calculations a lot easier as well. We have the carbon intensity at different electricity generation methods here, which includes the hydro, ocean, nuclear, as well as the oil, coal, etc. Okay. The system proposed. So, there are a few things that we are proposing. First is changing the tube lights, bulbs and halogens with their LED alternators. So, the tube lights here are fluorescent ones or, hal or like the floodlight uses a halogen floodlight and the bulbs are not LED as well. So. The thing is, uh, these require a lot more energy as compared to its LED counterparts to give us the same luminosity. I agree that the uh, price is a bit more with LEDs, but they are a lot more durable as well, so in the long run, they are more profitable. Other than that, we want to replace the geysers with solar heaters and 
and the, the one unique thing about our system proposed is we want to make a solar panel based uh, hostel electricity consumption system so what it does is we have a uh, okay so i move on to the document so we propose to install two pentacle solar panels of two kilowatt hour each and what we've calculated from this is that if we consider that only 100 days a year we can see the sun this may be because of monsoon or some days the sun isn't actually visible to us and if we just consider that the sun light falls on our panel for five hours in a day so if we consider this then in over the next 25 years our saving would be around 3.5 crores and this right now is doesn't involve any inflation count but i'll go through what happens if we consider inflation as well okay. so this is what we propose the calculations were again given the talk the effectiveness of the proposed solution so these are the energy consumption readings that we receive the primary energy usage as you can see has increased but this is due to the fact that the solar energy is not that efficient but then again sun is a infinite source of energy so it won't matter much the electricity bill consumption has reduced consume compared to the earlier value when the carbon footprint has reduced a lot as well so let's go over the economic analysis of our proposed model the solar panel installment is definitely a one big time investment so you have to pay a lot in the initial like initially while setting it up but uh, if you use a simple payback period calculation so uh, this gives us key in how many years our first in installment would be uh, completely covered so we just get the initial investment in about eight years and in next 25 years we save more than three crores and the carbon footprint also significantly reduced at around 47 per six times so 47 per six percent so the thing is if you consider from both an economic and an environmental point of view our model performs significantly better than the current one other than that if you are considering the bulbs flood lights and the tube lights our alternatives are around two times more durable and their cause to a reduction of 70,000 units of electricity per year and if you add to it the geyser alternative of the solar heaters it further reduces it to 20,000 uh, electricity units per year so all the calculation for these things are again given in the top you can go through those I'll conclude by giving the various current and proposed readings and a percentage change for the following as you can see uh, except primary usage everything else has significantly decreased and this model so okay i'll go through the inflation one as well so what happens in the case of inflation is we actually profit more as inflation increases so we aren't paying money to for our electricity right self-sufficient because we're using the solar energy so as the inflation increase we in turn save more so i'll just say that we are the last generation with a real opportunity to save the planet and we should definitely grab the opportunity and hold on to it thanks a lot